Happy Saturday, everybody. Happy May 27th. I usually don't do part threes, but I'm going to do a part three of this. Uh, this about Queen Naja, Chris NYC, and Chris Sales. I'm going to tell you something. I really don't have no problem with nobody riding for nobody. Because I ride for Carmen and Corey. I ride for Queen Naja and Clarence NYC. Now, this lady has simply got on YouTube and said that the girl, its best friend, was having sex with Clarence. But she said Queen already knew. And this woman said, y'all, I'm trying to get it right. This woman said, um, the way she had been dragging Chris Sales for five years, she needs to give that same energy to Clarence NYC. Now, y'all, this is the thing with Chris Sales. Chris Sales stuff was already on the internet. Chris Sales stuff was, it was out there. Everybody knew how Chris Sales was treating her. Chris Sales was going to the uh, strip club doing just the obvious. And Chris Sales had kicked her and CJ out the house that him and her have had. And Chris Sales also took the Jeep brought that he brought for her. And this woman had a nerve to say that Queen Naja was dumb for, buy, for buying Clarence NYC a car, which is a, a Corvette. She said she also done for buying Clarence jewelry. Let me stop y'all right there. If y'all can recollect and go back on the videos that Queen Naja had made. She was carrying Clarence's baby. And it was his birthday. And I think she was on tour or what. I can't quite remember. She came on stage. And she brought Clarence a gift. Some uh, jewelry. But also, let me tell y'all, before y'all uh, get on here and try to drag me and try to say I haven't did my homework. Okay. This another thing Clarence did. The truck that Chris Sale took from a queen. That's the truck she always wanted. Clarence just went out. I think it was this year or last year and brought her that same truck with red and leather seat. And he brought her some gear. See, this is what child got to understand. And this is what people don't understand. You don't miss what you had until it's gone. Chris, like, it, like this guy said, Chris had it all. But Chris decides to 
mess up. Well, that ain't nobody's fault because you messed up. That's your fault. And for sales, allegedly, they said, was beating up on uh, Queen Nash. That's why I say he done a lot of things to this woman. When Clarence started dating this woman or talking to her as a friend, Clarence had to build her back up, build her spirit back up, build her mind back up, just build her back up. Because Chris had tarnished her so much. So it ain't even funny. And I'm going to say what else that this lady said. She said, Chris is the nicest person. Chris put um, Queen on. She put Train Amon on and Jazz. And she said that they can't spend time with Chris. This is what had happened. They did do a song with Chris. I think it was Trey. But the fact after everything that's happened between Chris Sale and Queen, they just feel like it's not safe or it's not good for to for them to be at one place at the same time. Look, it'll feel very awkward at, at work, or it wouldn't feel right. Chris and Queen there. And Clarence was also there with Queen. Now, y'all tell me how stupid that sounds. You got Chris there. Like I said, and you also got Queen and Clarence there. I don't see it. But this lady say that she don't wish this on no woman. But how you saying you don't wish this on no woman when you just sit up there on your YouTube page? And call Queen dumb. I just want to know that. How is any of that right? Because I feel like you don't really know the receipts. We still don't know if. Queen was okay with the subject, okay with him doing what he did. But I'm going to tell y'all this. What the girl did say, which is uh the ex-best friend, said that Queen had already knew about it. And let me tell you, the, from what I hear, the girl said it was six girls on the boat. And the girl said she didn't even want to come down there. And they tried to get the girl to do something. I'm not understanding. I really don't believe nothing that the girl is saying. And the reason why I'm saying I really don't believe nothing that the girl is saying is because it's just too many lies. It's too many lies going out. And like Royce said and Toot said, I have to have some receipts. And I wouldn't dare break up my home 
for no messiness. Because the girl could be doing all this just for clout. Because I'm going to tell you something. We do have people out there that do stuff just for clout. It don't matter. It don't matter. They do stuff for clout. Um, and I'm going to tell you something. The reason why I say that because the time Corey, I think he was in some town or country and the artist that was on their label was taking pictures and the pictures had ended up on Instagram and everybody was saying that she was having sex with Corey and Corey got a little bit tired of it and said, okay, this is it. I'm done. You know what I'm saying? I thought Carmen had her baby. She actually was finna divorce actually was finna a, a divorce after her postpartum and he went to Miami to get a tattoo. So I hope everything does work out for them. But hold on, y'all. I want to see some information. So, y'all, I had to watch some because it was seeing Clarence's counsel. And Clarence just seeing the perfect boyfriend. And everybody is wondering why Clarence um, I came on there and said nothing. Well, I'm going to say this. Number one, Clarence Nim had been through this before. The same cheating allegations. And number two, Queen probably told him, don't you dare go on there and say nothing. Because I'm going to tell y'all something. I don't know if I told y'all in the last video. But, you know, Queen will never be the one to hop on there. Queen sit there and said. I don't know. She said, I think she said she already knew what he was going to do. He told her what he was going to do. So y'all need to mind y'all business. Oh, and she also said this. She said this to Chris, Chris Sells. You'll never find another like me. Everybody tripped the mess out. Everybody. If I tell you everybody tripped out, because you never see, and I mean this, you never see Queen on nothing. But I do see that Chris says he's just messy. And he been wanting to see her and Clarence break up. Yeah. He been wanting to see that. Even if she break up with Clarence, she not going back to Chris. And for y'all wondering 
I don't really think that Queen is going to break up with Clarence for this mess. Because Queen, like somebody said, don't got used to, to this. You know, Queen probably just said, don't get caught on the internet so they can blast me. You know, but the only problem was Chris brought this to the uh, internet. Chris brought this to YouTube. And I just think at this moment in time, I feel like Chris is missing. I really do. But y'all, I'm going to get off of here. Uh, I love y'all. Bye.